Scientists at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory predict Hawaii's Kilauea volcano will erupt soon after a May 25th eruption that spewed lava more than 1,000 feet into the sky. Kilauea has erupted about once a week since December 2024, making it one of the world's most active volcanoes, the U.S. Geological Survey said. Kilauea isn't the only volcano to erupt. More than 50 volcanic eruptions have been reported around the world this year. Those eruptions have contributed significantly to earthquakes of all sizes, according to the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. Kilauea's eruption, which produced a 1,000-foot plume, occurred in a closed area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park about 200 miles and several islands southeast of Honolulu. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory's status report said the lava posed no immediate threat to residents living in the area. The Ring of Fire is a horseshoe-shaped region in the Pacific that is about 25,000 miles long and contains more than 450 volcanoes, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The ring, according to NOAA, stretches, quote, from the southern tip of South America along the west coast of North America across the Bering Strait to Japan and New Zealand. Its volcanoes extend even further south to Antarctica. Three of the four active volcanoes on Earth are here, says National Geographic. Almost all of the earthquakes occur here, too. Key, Ring of Fire, is the result of plate tectonics minus moving slabs of rock that cover millions of square miles. The plates can collide or move apart from each other. Heavier plates can slide beneath lighter plates, heating and melting the rock and creating magma. Volcanoes form when magma rises through the Earth's crust. 50 to 70 volcanic eruptions are recorded worldwide each year. According to the Global Volcanism Program, 54 volcanic eruptions have been confirmed this year through May 2nd. A dozen of those eruptions have occurred at new locations. The massive axial submarine volcano rises more than 3,600 feet above the seafloor, about 300 miles off Oregon. It last erupted in 2015. A year ago, Axial looked like it was sleeping, but now it's awake, and we think it's likely to erupt before the end of 2025, said Bill Chadwick, a volcanologist at Oregon State University and part of the team studying the volcano. A suite of instruments placed around the volcano shows that the reservoir has been refilling with magma since its last eruption, gradually expanding so that it's bulging upward. Overall, the submarine volcano continues to grow, but it doesn't look like anything is going to happen anytime soon, he wrote. Meanwhile, Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser, erupted at 11.05 a.m. in Yellowstone National Park. It was the second eruption of 2025 and 69 days since its last eruption on February 3rd. After a period of high activity, with more than 20 eruptions per year between 2018 and 2021, Steamboat's eruption frequency has been steadily decreasing for the past four years. Scientists believe the geyser is slowly entering a long period of dormancy, as it has in the past. Steamboat geyser may be taking longer than usual to subside, or it may be showing visitors and scientists its new normal. There's no way to predict what's normal for a geyser, said Mike Poland, the scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. Steamboat appears to be subside, but its activity has remained low for the past few years. An eruption every few months may be the norm for Steamboat. Steamboat geysers' eruptions can last more than an hour and shoot mineral-rich water more than 400 feet into the air, high enough to spray mud and water onto vehicles parked in a nearby parking lot. Its behavior has always been erratic, but scientists have observed a trend over the past century. Periods of eruption often followed by decades of dormancy. The geyser is never truly dormant, but the periods between eruptions are only a few days during its active periods. Eruptions can last nearly a decade. A similar pattern was observed in the 1960s and 1980s, 
when steamboat would erupt for short periods before petering out and erupting only once every few years. With the exception of Old Faithful or Lone Star Geyser, which have been consistent for a long time, many of these geysers can change their behavior in ways that are hard to anticipate, Poland said. Steamboat Geyser erupted 32 times in 2018 and 48 times in 2019 and 2020. Since then, it has erupted less frequently each year, 11 times in 2022, 9 times in 2023, and 6 times in 2024. What makes Steamboat's current eruptive period interesting is that its shutdown has taken longer than previous active periods. Eruptions are now less frequent, but the longest gap between eruptions from 2019 to 2025 was just 89 days. That's important for Poland. If Steamboat enters another long period of inactivity, it will take time to die down. I don't think I can say if this is the new normal with fewer eruptions per year or part of a very slow decline, he said. It's different from previous episodes of activity, but we don't have a lot of examples to draw on. Steamboat geysers eruptions can last more than an hour and shoot mineral-rich water more than 400 feet into the air, high enough to spray mud and water onto vehicles parked in a nearby parking lot. Its behavior has always been erratic, but scientists have observed a trend over the past century. Frequent periods of eruption followed by decades of dormancy. The geyser is never truly dormant, but the periods between eruptions, just a few days during its active periods, can last nearly a decade. A similar pattern was observed in the 1960s and 1980s, when Steamboat periodically erupted for short periods before petering out and erupting only once every few years. With the exception of Old Faithful or Lone Star Geyser, which have been consistent for a long time, many of these geysers can change their behavior in ways that are hard to anticipate, Poland said. Steamboat Geyser erupted 32 times in 2018 and 48 times in 2019 and 2020. Since then, it has erupted less frequently each year, 11 times in 2022, 9 times in 2023, and 6 times in 2024. What makes Steamboat's current eruptive period interesting is that its shutdown has taken longer than previous active periods. Eruptions are now less frequent, but the longest gap between eruptions from 2019 to 2025 was just 89 days. That's important for Poland. If Steamboat enters another long period of inactivity, it will take time to die down. I don't think I can say if this is the new normal with fewer eruptions per year, or part of a very slow decline, he said. It's different from previous episodes of activity, but we don't have a lot of examples to draw on.